episode. Today is another after work fishing trip. It is Thursday, October the 1st, and we are back at the little three foot waterfall where I caught the four pound, almost four pound spotted bass last week. We had different plans, but the bait shop was completely out of minnows. We was going to go try to catch some of them hybrid black noses, crappie. They were completely out of all minnows, no crickets. So we had to choose here instead. And they're both only a half hour away from the house. That's really only our two options during the work week with it getting dark at seven o'clock now. There just ain't many places to go and have enough time to have a quality trip anywhere else. So we're trying to waterfall again. Most likely we'll just get on some spotted bass with a chance of a largemouth and crappie. Very rare, but we'll get maybe one or two of them other times. And that's basically it. We're only gonna have about an hour and 20 minutes to fish, because it's 5.30 already. Um, so stay tuned. See if we can get on them today, guys. eagle right in front of me oh man I doubt I got that on film but he just flew 20 feet in front of my face guys I probably wasn't focused on him oh man if I would have just had my pole knot in my hand I could have hurried up and zoomed it happened so fast that I couldn't react quick enough my goodness man Wow, I've never seen one down here. Not once. Wow. <clears throat> there he is, first cast. Like I said, these fish are active, guys. You cannot beat it when it's 18 mile an hour west winds. Oh yeah, nice spotted. Oh, all right, I got him on the missile shock wave. 3.25 inch swim bait, chartreuse and white with a moon eye chartreuse and green quarter ounce jig head. One of my favorite baits. That's not a bad spotted bass. Very first cast, actually I didn't even cast it. I just pulled out about five foot of line and put it right below me along these cinder blocks and you see what happened immediately had a fish oh my good sign really good sign when I get a fish that fast <laughs> good evening <coughs> I'm getting ready to do the worst part of the trip here, and that's get in the water and cross. It's going to be cold. I'm going to be shivering all the way home, but I have to do it if I want to catch a bunch of fish. Oh, it's getting ice cold, man. Oh, my goodness. Whew. October water. The thing around here, it may be tolerable in October, sometimes even November. Sometimes it's already intolerable by October and it's getting there. Or once you're in for a while, it ain't so bad, but it's it's rough at first. I mean, this water has cooled off 20 degrees in two weeks. I think the fish are getting pretty much adjusted to it by now though. My God, it's cold. Whew. Ice cold. Oh my, no wonder the walleye were biting so good Saturday. Oh. It's no wonder.
rains, but this water has came up and it hasn't even rained. Now that just don't make any sense. There he is. Oh yeah, nice one guys. Real nice. Got a real nice one again. Oh my. Yeah, looks like a spotted, oh man, he's almost two pounds guys, on the white curly tail with an orange jig head, what a bass. Ow. Oh, he already took some of the paint off of my jig head there. not a bad spotted bass at all like I said he's he's almost to him on the white curly tail orange jig head and this paint is coming off real easy for some reason go oh yeah another another spotted see now the spotted bass are over in the calm water finally so that's changed a lot in one week guys they may not be above me in this swift pool where the water comes down they may be gone from there or it could be some of them there and some of them not I call this the transit fall transition period you just don't know, you just gotta experiment. And see where they're located. There he is. Oh, it's nice. Oh yeah. Second cast, guys. Had him hooked the first throw and he got off oh that's a nice one oh man woohoo oh man my goodness he's fighting he's using that current to his advantage guys that's a nice nice spotted bass he's three pounds i'm gonna have to bring him all the way down here i ain't got a dip net i'm gonna have to walk him down and i can get down and grab him Three-pounder. That three-pounder. Oh, my. Whoa. Another three-pound spotted bass, guys. Oh, my God. Three pounds. This thing is a beast. It ain't as big as the one last week, but he is up there with it. Oh my gosh. What a hoss. Oh my goodness, guys. What a spotted bass. Oh my goodness. That is a beast. That is a beast of a spot, guys. Another three pounder. He's every bit of 17. I'm gonna have to fix this thing. I gotta zip it closed or it won't set right. Guys, that is one hell of a spotted bass. 
easily three pounds. Two weeks in a row, two trips in a row, I've come down here and caught a three pound plus spotted bass. Oh my gosh. On the missile, guys. That is a beast. Wowzers. It just, that is a giant for a spot. get her back in the water. I want to catch her again next year right here. I am the only one who fishes right here and that's why I get these quality bass. Three pound spotted bass. Giant. Gosh. My goodness guys. What a fish. unsure if they were still going to be in here or not they're still here got another one this is a baby compared to the one i just caught he's only about 10 inches little guy here all right guys missile prevails Never lets me down all year round. Missile shockwave. If I could only choose one lure to use, you told me, hey, you can only take one lure with you when you go fishing. That's what I would choose. No doubt in my mind. It doesn't matter if it's summertime, wintertime, fall or spring, it always outproduces about 90% of the time. It catches anything that swims. I've caught 10 pound channel cats on it. Sauger, walleye, crappie, smallmouth and largemouth, stripers, white bass, goggle eye. It catches anything, guys. All right, let's get another one. I'm just letting that current push that lure down and I just kind of jig it around. Oh, I got hit real hard there. There he is. Oh man, that would have been my third fish in a row. He got off. Got him. Yeah, it's a smaller one. Still fun, guys. Still lots of fun. All right, we got this one's a little bigger. He's about 11. Pretty close to the. Same as the last fish, but it's about an inch longer. About 11 inches. Caught five already. The reason Wilma's not over here with me is because she don't want to get in the water and get wet because of it being cold already. She has waders, but we didn't bring them. All right, that's, I think he's number six actually. That's fish number six. All right, there could still be more. That only helps for so long. There he is, right below the falls. Oh yeah, he's decent. I think he may be bigger than the last couple. Or not, pretty small. I'm just happy I got the one real nice one, that big three pounder again. He might go 11. He's just like the last one. That's bass number seven. Ooh, and he had a shad in his mouth. 
just remnants of the remains of one, like real rotten. Sure did. All right, guys, now they're spotted. No largemouth yet. Little guy. There he was, right below the rapids again. Small guy again. Real small. They all look like twins now, but that one three pounder was mixed in with them and it made it worth coming. He won as big as the one I got last week. That was my personal best, but he was, he was up there in my top 10 though. Yep, he fell off. Right when I was about to take him off the hook. Another one, guys. My goodness, they're just in that one spot. Unfortunately, it's the there was just that one big one today and a bunch of little ones. They all seem to be 11 inches. The very first fish I caught was nice, and that was down there, and then the three pounder. Other than that, it's been a bunch of small ones. 10s and 11s, all spotted today, no other kind. Nine. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a crankbait before it's too late. Even though I'm catching them on that lure, I just want to give them something different. There he is. I got a nice one. I got another nice one, guys, compared to the ones I've been getting. Oh, yeah. There we go. About 12. He beats the last couple by an inch or two there. That makes nine fish again. Actually, it might have been 10. I think that is 10 fish. 10 bass, all spotted bass. He's my third biggest one of the day. Not terrible. All right, guys. Number 10. Oh yeah, got one more from that right, standing right next to the rapids, guys. I mean, right on the side of them. That's a nice one. That's my, now he's my third biggest one. Oh, and he fell off. That might be a, nope, it's a spot. He's a nice one. I knew there was one more sitting there because he got off earlier. I caught him on a three inch green, kind of like a pickle colored grub with a green head. Yeah, that's a nice spot there. He might go my second biggest. No, third, because my first one was bigger than him. Not a bad spot, guys. That makes 11, 11 spotted bass tonight, guys. Not bad for an hour and a half. Man. Whew. My goodness. See if I can get one more, then I gotta get going because I can barely see as it is. 